Okay, quick demonstration on just a collage style background stamped wine glass lampshade. I've got just a script stamp, some double stick poster tape, my rubber die just stuck onto the block, and I'm not using the whole of the stamp, so I'm actually just inking up part of it. That's going to be like the first layer of the, for the background. Then, little music note piece. And just kind of randomly stamp it a little bit. love this little postcard stamp. These unfortunately are from companies that are no longer in business, but they are companies that I used to demonstrate for back in the day. And they're still among some of my favorite rubber stamps. Just Joan and Innovative Stamp Creations. Here's a little pocket watch. up good. Little piece there. And when I clean those stamps, which is actually not very often, I take them to the kitchen sink, use Dawn dishwashing liquid and a toothbrush and scrub them clean. love that word life. That was always one of the group that I was in. That was one of our favorite stamps. And I'm going to take this little piece of ruler looking die. This is from Innovative Stamp Creations. As well as the background script and the little music piece. So that looks good. Then I'm going to take the uh, Gathered Twigs Distressing. I just like this shade of brown, so it's just one that I use a lot. Let's see. Before I go any further, I'll go on and add a little piece of double sided sticky strip there. Sometimes the tape is enough to hold them, sometimes you'll need to add glue, but that'll just be whatever means of closing it that you want to use. Just rub the ink with the stipple brush. This was our tool of choice back in the day. I think I started buying my set uh, 97 or 98 and I had enough brushes for one for each color family back when the Adirondack inks were so popular from Ranger. And I really miss those ink colors, but I do like the distress inks now. I just miss the Adirondacks. They were like our go-to inks for what we did at the time. So there's the the shade and you could go back if you wanted to darken the top and the bottom edge that would just be up to you I just want to show how simple it is to put it together because I tell you that and then <laughs> fiddle with it because it overlaps approximately a quarter of an inch and there's the little lampshade. Let's get my little light back over here. Or my little wine glass. And the other thing about these, this size, I think this is like a highball glass or something like that. Super cute on that because it's real low and squatty. And they look awesome on just a mason jar 
we did that last night, and my husband got a kick out of that. He thought that was cool. So that's just an example of collage stamping on one of my wine glass lampshades.